Welfare. You already know who it is, nigga. Not Kane, a motherfucking back, nigga. Yeah. I might pull up in that coupe, swag like a robot. Cash at the dope spot, gas back, I'm so high. I might pull up, fuck a roof, swag like a robot. Back back, I'm so high. No shorty wanna give me time. I might pull up in that coupe, swag like a robot. Cash at the dope spot, gas back, I'm so high. I might pull up, fuck a roof, swag like a robot. Back back, I'm so high. No shorty wanna give me time. Shorty wanna give me time. Take my swag, you cannot sell a swag for the fire, for the love. Take your time, all, all these niggas wanna jump the swag, but I'm loving now. Got your bitch in need, bitch is sucking. So the doomsday heist update is past. The festive surprise update is past. The holidays have passed. And with the holidays passing, they brought us an awesome truck. The Vapid Riata. Now the Vapid Riata is the essence of unnecessary American truck. It has a very, very lifted suspension, various ball bar and body options that are just radical, like this rock crawler ball bar. The exhaust kits can be changed, and it also has a hood option for a wind visor, which I don't believe any other truck in this game has. There's also roof rack and uh, rear ball bar options, rear roll, uh, roll cage options. There's all types of options for it, plus there's a shitload of liveries for it. I personally picked the Shrewberry shotguns. The interior is boring, but the engine, the V8, is not. It's quite beautiful. I mean, look at it. It's a bit of detail there, you know? And uh, the sound is muscular. You love it, don't you? Now the suspension on the Vapidriana has so much travel, there's so much ground clearance, it's got these big brawny off-road tires on it that you should put, don't put anything else. But the truck bed is useless, there's an invisible wall there, I don't know why, like you can't get inside of it, but you can't. Um, and also, this truck has LED lights, which nothing else has, that's a nice, cool, modern feature that I do like about it, it's a very menacing truck with all the lights on it's beautiful but let's get past all this exterior shit because this does not matter what matters is how this fucker drives off-road and it is amazing now off-road the Vapid Riata has enough acceleration and top speed especially in a situation like this where it's snowing that you will be thoroughly impressed by this truck. But don't get too over enthusiastic. It is an off-road truck. It's not breaking no land speed record. But one thing it can break is every damn bump or hill it will take. It is amazing. This is the trick suspension that this thing has. Check it out. The travel, the rebound, Everything, all the settings on this car's suspension is perfect. I swear to you, man, I swear to you. This is probably one of the best cars for off-roading that is in this game. At least when it comes to different elevations and getting over objects and shit like that. This is the truck to have if you want to clear anything in your path. I cannot stress this enough. The Vapid Riata is a terrain eater. Any jump, bump, or hill you throw at this thing, it will take it. It's quite awesome. Shit, even the AI thinks so. I mean, just look at this truck move. I mean, check this out. It eats every bump and stays relatively level. That is a good job, Rockstar. This is what we like to see. If you appreciate off-roading in this game, the Vapid Riata is a must-buy. Hands down, there is no other truck with the amount of suspension manipulation that this truck has. There is nothing else in the game that can eat pumps and maintain speed like the Vapid Riata.
The Riata is heavily based on the Ford Bronco concept by Bronco6G.com. However, unlike the website concept, the Riata is a pickup truck rather than an SUV. Now there is a bed cap modification that can be bought from Los Santos to make it more closely resemble the Bron Bronco concept if you know you like making your cars look like they really look. The Riata's heavy-duty suspension and off-road wheels make it a force to be reckoned with in off-road environments. And if you're smart and you put the rock crawler bumper on, you'll get a little bit more clearance so she can do dope ass shit like this. Just look how the suspension manipulates to everything it just keeps on going over it is amazing i love this truck it is a micro monster truck a pocket monster truck if you would say I mean, at the end of the day, this truck, above every other feature that it possesses, is fun. And what do we play games for? To have fun. And this truck is a whole shitload of fun. Man. Besides it being fun, it's also a great hill climber. A great rock climber. That's like literally what the truck is made for climbing shit and climb shit it will do I mean when you got a vapid Riata you can't help but explore you can't help but see something and say hey can I get up there and nine times out of ten in this truck you can fucking get up there I saw so many beautiful parts of the world while testing and driving this thing it was crazy Let's hop out and check out what we what we what we got here. Let's get up there. Oh my God, this view is beautiful. Beautiful, like smashing the like button. You should smash the like button, like now. Now, what I do with all of my off-road cars is I take them up. Mount Chiliad. It's like something I do as soon as I buy an off-road car. Well, not as soon as I buy the off-road car, but most of the time, like some point in me getting an off-road car, I, it's not really broken in until I take it up Mount Chiliad. And out of all of the trucks and rally cars and dumb stuff that I just decided to drive up this mountain, by far, the one that did it with the most ease and the most this is nothing attitude is the Vapid Riata. This truck right here is a hill climbing beast and I will bet my bottom dollar that even the trophy truck cannot climb a goddamn mountain better than this shit can. This thing is amazing. It is absolutely amazing. I mean the developers, I really hope that this Vapid Riata suspension techni technique or, or whatever you have the stats set to in your little rock star fucking computers, okay, whatever you have the stats set to for this suspension, I hope this continues on with other off-road implements and other off-road vehicles that are added to GTA Online because this thing is a force to be reckoned with. It is a sad day in hell if you are a hill and you are approached by this truck. Just look at it, it's amazing.
Now, as far as vapid trucks go, this is the top of the MOOC, as Slim would say. So I had to bring it to the top of the MOOC. You know, the top of Mount Chiliad. Oh, shit. Got a little slippy in them tins, but watch this ninja shit. There we go. Now, the snow's only gonna be here for a little while longer, so... I figured I might as well show you guys a nice view of the, of the city, a nice view of Los Santos. Check it out. Yeah, look at that. Quite breathtaking, right? And then the music is all epic and whatnot. Y'all better appreciate it. Y'all should subscribe and like because I'm definitely going to get a copyright for this. I'm supposed to use this song in my jump ball. But look at that snow and mountains. No wildlife though, because for some reason Grand Theft Auto Online don't got wildlife. But we not gonna ask no questions. We just gonna appreciate what we got. Random explosion. Yeah. Now going back down the mountain was not the most pleasant experience in the world. I will say that. Ooh, watch out, bitch! You almost died. Because of this car's high ride height, big tires and high sense of rebound after coming off of a bump, it's, it's very prone to rolling over. Very, very prone to rolling over. And rollover is exactly what it did. But besides that, the Vapid Riata is one awesome ass truck. Real shit. I love this goddamn thing. Mario Jump. I mean, it's got the ground clearance. It's got the look. The interior is trash, but it's got an LED light bar. And how many other trucks got an LED light bar? Fucking none. That is modernness at its best, bro. You want to know another awesome thing about the Vap Riata? It is a God sent human being wrecking ball. I mean, just check this out. No, God! No, God, please, no! 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 Now the Vapid Riata costs 380K, which I feel is a more than reasonable price for the amount of truck that you're getting and the amount of abilities that this truck has off-road. And let's be honest, with the economy of Grand Theft Auto vehicles, anything that's under a million dollars makes me fucking smile, okay? It's got tons of customization, it's a fun vehicle to drive, and if you got the, if you got the bread, you might as well go and get you one. This is a it's, this is a really fun truck for the off-roading guys. It's specifically for the off-roading guys. Plus, it's way better than a Sand King. I don't know about the Contender. That's my favorite truck. But spend you the money and get you a decent truck, bro. Simple. Hey, you guys stay till the end of the video. Make sure y'all do me a favor. Hit that like button. Subscribe. Turn on the post notifications. All that good shit. And y'all homies have a good day. Deuces.